In this video, I will compare Go High Level versus WordPress and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So if you are looking to build a website and you're not sure if you should build it through WordPress or through Go High Level, then this is the perfect comparison for you. So they are both very different platforms because whereas Go High Level is an all-in-one platform that offers dozens of features and you can see some of those right here. So one of them is the website builder, but then you also have service and forms, email marketing, booking and appointments, workflow automations, and so much more. So on the one hand, you have this Go High Level platform, which is a real all-in-one platform. And on the other hand, you have WordPress, which is one of the most used website building platforms. Now WordPress also allows you to have some plugins. So for example, you can also have booking on WordPress. Now, in my opinion, there are very specific use cases for each of these. If you want to create a website for e-commerce, then personally, I would definitely go with WordPress and then you can use the WooCommerce plugin. So if you are looking to create an e-commerce website, then WordPress for me is the clear winner. Now, on the other hand, if you have a local business that relies on lead generation, then I would go with Go High Level simply because they have a bunch of very good templates for barbers and pretty much any other type of local business. So also real estate and stuff like that. And not only that, but they also have the email marketing, booking and appointments, workflows, call tracking, all of this built in. And you can also set up an AI widget that you can add to your website. So it's a really all in one platform and I really like Go High Level. I think it's a very good platform for local businesses that again rely on lead generation. So if that's you, I would strongly consider Go High Level. Now their pricing may be a bit confusing at first. The starter plan at $97 per month gets you all of their features except for the branded desktop app and API access. But the main restraint is that you can set up up to three sub accounts. Now one sub account is just one business that you can manage using Go High Level. Now the unlimited sub accounts is in the unlimited plan at $297 per month, which is mainly for agencies. And there you can create unlimited sub accounts. So for most people, the starter plan will be more than enough since you probably only want to manage one business. Now, if you have more than three, you can always upgrade to the unlimited plan later. Now, usually Go High Level offers a 14 day free trial. If you would like to get access to an extended 30 day free trial, then you can sign up through the link down in the description. So overall, if you are looking to create an e-commerce website, or also I would say if you're looking for a really customizable website and you have a really large brand, then I would go with WordPress. If you don't want to spend too much time on your website, but still have a very good functioning and good looking website that's going to bring in lots of leads, then I would go with Go High Level. And then you can also nurture those leads through automatic systems and actually convert them into customers. Now, when you create your Go High Level account, you will have a support agent that's just going to help you set it up completely for free. So if you want to get the extended 30 day free trial for Go High Level, again, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So that concludes this comparison of Go High Level versus WordPress. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.